Cancer survivor drives ride hail to provide lunches for Nashville's homeless. A Nashville-based woman is using the money she earns working as a ride-share driver to make meals for the homeless. Working as a full-time scientist is not Carrie Weil's only job, on weekends she also works as a ride-share driver, who philanthropically redirects her earnings and tips to prepare meals to feed Tennessee's homeless community. The interesting and beautiful story of Carrie, begins when, unfortunately, she was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018. After skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in women in the United States. Unfortunately, Carrie has been diagnosed with this. From then on, she decided that she would not give up and showed that the desire to do good is invincible, by starting her side gig with Lyft and Uber. I thought I'm going to make a bucket list of everything I've wondered about and this was on it, said Carrie. Of course. We all want to do certain activities in our lives, and in the presence of cancer, Carrie started to launch her bucket list. And driving for a ridesharing company was part of it. Carrie claims to love people, and this was nothing more than a wonderful opportunity to know other people's stories. What I found is I really like talking to the people. I like meeting them and sharing my favorite spots in Nashville, she said. After a few days of starting, Carrie realized that she would be really passionate about this and will end up loving her labor. But she also discovered quickly that Nashville's homeless population is good-sized and constantly growing. So. When she started her ride share, she decided to redirect the fares and tips from this side gig to preparing lunches for the city's huge population of homeless people. As I was driving around, I would notice the same people in the same spots and I noticed a lot of new homeless, she said. Without thinking it twice, Carrie uses her earnings, from fare and tips to pay for the lunches. She hands them out during her shifts. If you leave a tip, I match it. Everything I need to make the lunches is basically subsidized by my tips and rides, she said. On the weekends. As she drives people around the city, she gets to deliver some delicious homemade peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to around 100 homeless people, receiving a lot of love and support in exchange. And of course. Such a generous labor could not be exempt from attracting people's attention. In a short period of time, Carrie made a great friend who decided to join her in this endearing labor after hearing about what she does. Carrie, who works Mondays to Fridays as a scientist at the Cooperative Human Tissue Network at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, inspired a 24-year-old local man named Ryan Caldwell, who joined her in this beautiful work. Without sounding too, quirky, he just has an amazing, aura, Carrie tells GNN. When you meet him, his kindness and charisma immediately put you at ease. When he said he wanted to help deliver lunches with me, I knew he was sincere. Caldwell felt just the same way. She's been my best friend since we started, he told News Channel 5. We started talking about his goals and dreams and he said he wanted to work with the homeless. I love having his help. He's energetic and an amazing 24-year-old kid, Carrie said. For Ryan. This is more than just finding someone to share his desire to help with. He has found in Carrie. A great friend and partner to whom he is united by this special and beautiful bond. It's a humbling experience. When I was a bellhop. I would see people freezing and under bridges and it just didn't sit well in my soul. Ryan said. Nowadays. This amazing and friendly duo goes out to deliver turkey rolls together. And they have also started collecting the homeless community shoe sizes to get them boots for the winter months. If anyone out there needs a young man to be a role model, he is it. The world definitely needs more Ryans. Says Carrie. And it can be assured that people like Carrie make this world a better place, because it is not the first time that she has made an effort to help others. Back in 2017. She founded a, secret society, to help struggling kids in the Midwestern towns. For Carrie. The work of helping others is not a problem, it is something that demonstrates her immense heart and kind acts. She says. Small steps in a larger problem can make a beautiful impression on your heart and soul. Lack of time can be seen as an obstacle to kind acts, however. Carrie has shown that this is not a problem. It all resides in the importance given to the right things. If you want to do good, you will get the way to do it, as long as it is important. News Channel 5's asked her. How do you fit this all into your week? And she answered some precious words. What's important you fit into your week? 
You just have to determine what's important. When you stop and evaluate life, there are a lot of things that become important to you whether that's the legacy you leave behind or the ability to inspire someone else. Thanks to Carrie's joint efforts with Ryan, Nashville homeless people can be sure that there are people who care about them and will go out of their way to help without expecting anything in return. Especially this incredible duo.